Hey everyone, welcome to another Grim Dawn skill video. In this video, we're going to be going over Electra's Flash Freeze. Electra's Flash Freeze is a Frost Nova, essentially. It's a burst centered on you that will freeze enemies within a certain radius based on the skill's rank. So, the skill description. A victim of political... Intrigue, Electra was condemned to the Black Legion, where her former life of arcane academia turned into a bitter struggle to survive on the front lines of a brutal war. Electra quickly put her studies to practical use, developing a technique to flash freeze enemies who made it within striking distance. This spell freezes enemies for its duration. Enemies resistant to freeze effects will suffer a reduced duration. So, what does this skill box say? Costs energy, obviously. Has a skill recharge. Has a duration. 8 meter radius at level 4. Deals cold damage and reduces the fire res of enemies it hits. So, Electra's Flash Freeze. We will do this low level version here. Kaboom! Hits around you. Enemies within that are frozen. Heroes can be frozen. The orange, brownish named guys can be frozen. But enemy bosses, the purple named guys, cannot be frozen by Electra's Flash Freeze. In fact, they won't even be hit by Electra's Flash Freeze. But you know what? This ability is one of my most favorite abilities in this game. And I'm actually kind of fine with that. I'd like it to be able to hit bosses just so you can hit them with it and get your devotion proc off. But ultimately, I mean, I just stop using it against bosses or I'll just click it anyways because a lot of times bosses have ads. Freezing the ads is pretty handy anyways. Electra's Flash Freeze has one modifier, absolute zero. Completely sap the nearby air of heat, leaving anything caught within the Flash Freeze slowed and debilitated even after the initial effects wear off. This deals a flat chunk of Frostburn damage over three seconds, adds percent cold damage onto the cold damage of the main ability, slows the target, um, and reduces the target's physical resistance um, for the duration. So, um... What goes on here is you'll hit people with the cold damage. Hit targets with the cold damage. They'll be frozen for the, the duration. But after the duration, um, the slow will take effect. So usually enemies that are freeze resistant, like an ultimate, they get really, really freeze resistant. They'll still be slowed after the freeze wears off. But also during their duration, um, you'll reduce their fire res, reduce their physical res. And you also deal, like, obviously more Frostburn damage and more cold damage to them. So I'm going to very quickly re-equip this character. So, Electra's Flash Freeze can get really fun with a properly geared character. So we're going to do this 12 out of 12 um, burst. As you can see, it hits almost the entire screen. It hits a massive radius. Uh, um, yeah, it's, like, it's almost a little staggering even to me after playing with this ability for so long and all my Arcanist characters, it's just awesome. You'll hit the whole screen, freeze all the ads, freeze all the normal enemies. You can even freeze some heroes for a little bit. If you build even a little cooldown reduction, you can almost do flash freezes back to back. And this guy, who's heavily, heavily built around cooldown reduction, the duration of the freeze is actually longer than the recharge. So he can actually keep things frozen provided they live through the cold damage hit. Um, and if you have, say, like, time dilation attached to this and you hit an enemy and it procs the time dilation, you get a free flash freeze after that. So you can freeze an enemy, let the freeze wear off, freeze them again. It's very, very solid crowd control. And um, it does a lot of interesting synergizing with both the Arcanist tree and outside of the Arcanist tree. So this particular character is based around cold damage and aether damage, so like the fire resistance um, reduction doesn't affect them as much. Like my Albrecht's Aether Ray guy, the fire resistance reduction on Electra's Flash Freeze is one of his main sources of damage, um, or uh, resistance reduction, I should say, on enemies. So, I mean, he can basically hit the whole screen with a 12 out of 12 Flash Freeze, and like, Devastation will deal more damage to things he hits. I mean, on top of dealing almost 2,000 cold damage to everything on the screen. Um, within the tree, Kalidor's Tempest, to me, is a natural combination with it. If you're building a Kalidor's Tempest build, I think you're going to be building an Electra's Flash Freeze build. Because even if you aren't gearing cold damage, you're probably going to have a lot of elemental damage regardless. 
and that's going to increase both the fire damage of the Tempest and the cold damage of the Flash Freeze. But also, these two, they're, like, the Flash Freeze is obviously going to be larger than the Tempest. Pretty much per level, up even until this is, like, above 16. Um, the Flash Freeze is always going to be bigger. But, because they're both centered on you, you can Flash Freeze, spam your Tempest within that area, and you'll be dealing extra damage with your Tempest because they'll, because of the fire resistance reduction um, the Flash Freeze provides. Um, otherwise, I mean, like, you could use it with Albrex, like I mentioned before, and Devastation, and Panetti's. It just works with everything in the Arcanist Tree so well. And if you have Mirror and Sphere um, as your sort of... Your, your sort of baseline defense mirrors your oh poop defense and then you can use flash freeze as crowd control it's a really really solid defensive setup and also in the spell breaker i've mentioned this time and again combining pneumatic burst with all of these defensive abilities is amazing and electra's flash freeze loves night's chill because enemies that are surrounding you you can just deal more damage to them um with uh with this reduction and then you'll actually reduce their pierce cold poison and fire and physical res so you open up a lot of build potential with electric flash freeze and night's chill you could be doing a heavily melee focused pierce and physical build throw in the cold damage and you're reducing the pierce damage with night's chill um the cold damage with night's chill and then with absolute zero, you can actually reduce physical damage on the enemies. So you can reduce all of these damage types for all sorts of fun builds with just these two abilities. And I mean, there's some other obvious things you can go with here. Um, you can potentially use it with a uh, Nether Edge if you're doing strict cold damage at range. Probably go for Panetti's over that though. Um, and like I mentioned before, uh, Dual Blades, you're probably gonna have some cold damage worked into this. And obviously your cold damage already on Electra's, and then uh, Merciless Repertoire combines well with it. Elemental Awakening combines well with it because of the elemental damage and obviously the cold damage from that. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much covers the Spellbreaker combinations. Oh, up uh, dur. No, it doesn't. Uh, Amarasta's Blade Burst is cold damage too. So yeah, cold and frostburn damage from Amarasta's. And of course, Lethal Assault increases both cold and frostburn damage. So when you have your Lethal Assault proc up, Electra's Flash Freeze is more powerful. But, uh, yeah, that would probably round that out, actually. So the Sorcerer combination is kind of amazing with Electra's Flash Freeze. I mean, I have it on my Aether Ray Sorcerer here, and pretty much any fire ability in the Demolitionist Tree is going to benefit from it. Fire Strike, if you make a Fire Strike Sorcerer, you Flash Freeze everything, and then you can shoot or hit whichever version you're going for and you'll deal a crap ton of fire damage with that it combines with blackwater cocktail where you freeze the screen throw the cocktails everywhere i showed it in the footage on that video it's probably going to be in this video as well that you're just burning the whole room now and that you've just frozen canister bomb obviously the same thing and granado um with the high impact modifier will do the same thing as well you get more damage out of your mortar traps more damage out of your thermite mines I mean, it's an amazing combination, and you can actually build Fire Ice kind of okay in this game. Um, there are items that support it. Uh, the weird build would be something maybe with Fire Strike and Electras, or even just doing the Blackwater Cocktail with Electras. Yeah, there's a lot you can do with, um, with Electras and the Demolitionist. Oh, and bearing special mention, I'm not going to put this in the item section, I'm putting it in right here. Warp Fire, if you get a high cold to fire damage conversion on Warp Fire, it turns it from Electra's Flash Freeze into Electra's Flash Frame. Frame? Flame. Um, so you'll basically convert all of the cold damage on Electra's to fire, which will actually deal, I think, more damage because of the fire damage reduction. I don't know, it might deal the damage than the reduction because it has to deal the damage to get the effects. It'll still freeze, it'll still hold enemies in place, but they'll be dealt fire damage, their fire res will go down, everything demolitionist is fire already. Warp fire is for demolitionists. Oh, and also, the frost burn gets turned into burn damage when you do this conversion. So you essentially have frozen burning enemies, which 
I don't know how it works. That breaks all the laws of physics, unless you get into weird, like, oh, below absolute zero things catch on fire physics. But yeah, warp fire does bear special mentioning because of what it can do to Electra's flash freeze in the sorcerer combination. So my druid also has Electra's flash freeze at 12 out of 12. And while he doesn't have the fire damage, um, to take advantage of the resistance reduction, he's not really running physical damage either. Actually, you could probably do that if you're doing a primal strike build, you might be able to abuse absolute zero with it. Because even though that's heavily lightning damage based, it is a weapon attack. Same thing with savagery, but you're going to be dealing physical damage. So, um, yeah, a primal strike or savagery build could potentially take huge advantage, um, of the physical damage reduction on absolute zero. But the whole thing with Electra's Flash Freeze is you're hitting the whole screen and you're just holding things still. So if you're doing something with say Trojan Sky Shards, um, you're keeping enemies still so you can nail them with the Sky Shards, so you can nail them with Devastation. So your um, totems can just electrocute the things that are just standing there. So your tornadoes can go and sit on the things that are standing there and deliver their Maelstrom lightning bolts. There's a lot you can do with this flash freeze and other abilities, even if the damages don't mesh. Plus, and I'm going to mention this in the Nightblade Demolitionist Shaman combos, you're pretty much going to have a lot of elemental damage just in general. So while this character is not building towards cold, he still deals a lot of cold damage with the flash freeze itself. On top of, you know, the lightning damage that he's mostly geared towards. Well, lightning aether. All right, so my battle mage also runs Electra's Flash Freeze at 12 out of 12. He doesn't really take advantage of Absolute Zero, though. I'd maybe consider building Absolute Zero in the future, um, because with the battle mage, the soldier combination, Markovian's advantage deals physical damage. Just, I mean, come on, it's like you're reducing that resistance every, every, uh, like what, four seconds? Four seconds or more, depending on what you're equipped with. Um, for cooldown reduction wise. And um, yeah, Markovian's advantage would proc and you deal more physical damage with it. Cadence works pretty well with this combination as well because it's a physical damage ability. You'll probably be converting a chunk of it over to elemental damage, but still, um, the physical damage reduction. Um, oh, it also affects force wave. You'll probably have a lot of physical damage in a blade arc build, um, counter strike. So absolute zero with the the uh, the battle mage can be a really really potent combination. I mean, on top of you're gonna war cry probably reduce the enemy's health by thirty three percent. You're gonna flash freeze, reduce their physical damage by a a chunk, and slow them, and they'll be frost burning. And then you're gonna be sitting there like plunking away with cadence or force waves, probably with tremor. Um, or even blade arcs because it's going to be a nice circular build i think because it's like hitting the circle hitting the circle and then this is just giant carving the air with swings so yeah a very potent combination can be found with absolute zero and the battle mage combination and you might be asking yourself james do you even run a warlock with the 12 out of 12 electras and the answer is hell yes i do well it's 11 out of 12 it'll be 12 out of 12 when i get them done but yeah it's like it's too good an ability in my opinion because you could just take out the mobs um he isn't even running like anything that could combo with it he's just using it like you can go for destruction dealing more damage with that you can stack up the re the elemental well the fire um, elemental resistance reduction with that. You could probably even give your Hellhound a hell of a lot more damage with a flash freeze, combining it with manifestation for a very, very weird build. But I mean, like I mentioned, because of what this provides your character, you can actually get a lot of work done um, with every class combination. Um, that goes to Arcanist. Um, very, very bullish on Electra's Flash Freeze. And while I'm here, I'm also going to mention um, it's probably your best leveling ability in the game. You get it to 12 out of 12 early, you can just clear the entire screen in normal veteran quickly. I don't know that would one-shot everything, but it comes really, really close to just one-shotting everything in the lower difficulties. And even going in the higher difficulties, if you can try to maintain it at 12 out of 12 through Elite and Ultimate, it'll be your best friend. Because it can just keep you safe while dealing damage. It is 
an awesome ability. S tier ability, God tier ability. So there obviously isn't like an Electra set in the game. Um, the only weapon I can think of off the top of my head that is like an Electra weapon is Electra's Chill. It gives you plus three to Flash Freeze, plus three to Elemental Awakening. So it's for Spellbreakers and it has Electra's Chill on it. Um, it adds another freeze. There's also um, the Chill Surge Ring, which has free Flash Freezes on it. It's kind of a higher level Flash Freeze as well. I don't know that I have one on this character to show off. I don't. But yeah, if um, you pick up a Chill Surge Ring or an Empowered Chill Surge Ring, it also has the um, Flash Freeze ability. Actually, is there... Mm, nope. I don't think I can craft it. Okay. So yeah, otherwise, you're pretty much equipping um, cold damage things for it. Not a whole lot of item synergies. And I mentioned Warp Fire earlier if you're doing the sorcerer combination. Now, my favorite thing to put devotion-wise on Electra's Flash Freeze is time dilation. <laughs> uh, because it merits evil laughter. Because you hit the whole screen, and that's, you know, chances for it to proc, and it's a 65% chance to proc. Pretty much every Electra's Flash Freeze I use gives me a six second, six seconds off all of my cooldowns. And that's what I like doing with the Flash Freeze most. Um, you could probably, if you wanted to abuse the fire resistance reduction, uh, click in Meteor Shower. Um, you could also potentially attach Blizzard to just make it more cold and freeze and slow. Um, you could also, I believe Arcane Bomb can be put on it. You can't put things like, um, Aether Fire on it. I really wanted to do, um, Flame Torrent on it, but it does not go on. Oh, it does go on it. Okay, maybe I could do that in the future. I totally didn't even notice that. Yeah, but Aether Fire was the one I was like, oh, I can't wait to put that on Electra's Flash Freeze, and you can't. Uh, you can attach the uh, Tsunami ability to it. Um, I think, can you do Whirlpool? You can do Whirlpool on it. Um, you can do your Elemental Seekers on it. Ever since they did this, like a whole lot of abilities now can take Electra's Flash Freeze. And, um, I think even Fissure can do it, yeah. You can do Fissure on it. Um, oh no, that's what I was thinking of. Eldritch Flame can't use it. I was thinking of maybe using Eldritch Flame and converting that Chaos Damage into Aether Damage. So yeah, basically the things that are dots themselves, they don't allow you to put it on the Flash Freeze. And I'm just pointing out that, yeah, like this one, the Vitality Damage, um, Wendigo's Mark, can't do it. But a lot of other abilities can do it. Oh, you can't use it there. Oh, that's interesting. No flash freezing a room and getting undead out of it. But yeah, there's a lot you can do with it. Um, you can put it on the Dryad here for a heal. Um, put it on Yulo's ability if you want that. I don't even know if you'd want that. But there's a lot you can actually do now with Devotion and Electra's Flash Freeze. Because a long time ago, you couldn't basically put anything on it and it sort of made the ability not that great but now that you can pretty much grab up a ton of options for it this ability is absolutely ridiculously godly um and i highly recommend it okay so that was my electra's flash freeze skill video i hope you guys enjoyed this video it is one of my all-time favorite abilities in the game and if it hit bosses it would probably be a necessary include in all Arcanist builds. Even though I think it's a necessary include in all Arcanist builds now, it just takes out an entire screen of enemies, keeps you safe, makes it easier for you to damage them. All in all, um, great ability. And as I mentioned before, I think it's God tier, it's S tier. Um, so thanks for watching everyone. Um, my Patreon is in the description below. It should be the first link. And there should be a link on the screen somewhere. And uh, even just a dollar a month is super, super helpful. And I'd love you forever if you went and even just did a dollar for like, you know, a month or two. I'd be totally fine with that. So thanks for watching again, everyone. And I'll see you guys next time.